Hello everybody and welcome to a super exciting video for me to make. Um, today we're celebrating 2,000 followers on Instagram. Woo! All jokes aside, I'm super grateful to be making this video at all and for the general growth and support that the account has been getting recently. Um, we're almost at 2300 already and we're also at 100 subscribers on YouTube, so that's kind of crazy. Thank you guys so much. I, I feel like I'm lacking words to say thank you <laughs> without doing it like a million times over, but hopefully this video will be interesting. Um, I'm going to be showing the process of a recent post that I made, um, just a few of my thoughts uh, before shooting, just what I did, and uh, a little bit of my editing process, so if there's something you want to see more of or more in depth of, just leave a comment and let me know. Now let's get on with the video. The first thing I did was basically just uh, create a concept for what I wanted, and uh, I already knew that I wanted a rainy, like, kind of fall vibe since that's where we're headed right now, at least in Sweden. Um, and I knew I wanted this particular yellow raincoat, and I thought this horse might suit it, you know? It might look good. Um, I thought I had the raincoat already, but it turns out I didn't, so I just went into the global store and uh, <laughs> bought it. <laughs> this is how I waste most of my star coins, let's be honest. I, I spend so much money on clothes for pictures. <laughs> but uh, I found the coat that I wanted, um, the Nova's jacket. I thought it looked exactly like I wanted it to, so I was very happy with this. Next step was to find a good hat. Uh, I knew I didn't really have one that I thought would suit everything, or suit the vibe that I was going for. Um, I started looking at this yellow one, then I looked at this green one. Um, if you've seen the picture, you know what I ended up going with. But I also found this super cute blue one. I actually bought it because I thought it would look the best because I didn't want everything to match too much. But uh, it just didn't really feel, um, like, outdoorsy enough. It looked a little bit too cute. It almost looked like uh, it was like a knitted hat, and I didn't really feel like that was appropriate. So I thought the yellow hat looked really good, and I really liked it. So next up was uh, to find some shoes. And I knew I had these green boots uh, that were actually part of my club outfit. <laughs> um, and I think they kind of look like, you know, Wellingtons and stuff like that. So I, I thought they looked really nice. And I found these uh, washed out like gloves, the green gloves. I know I picked a pair of like jeans, but I ended up changing them actually. Then for the saddle, I started out with this one because I really like the saddle. This is like one of my favorite Western saddles in the game. Um, but then when, as I was looking for bridles, I found this uh, this bozel that looked really earthy with like green and brown, and I really liked it. And so uh, I decided to switch out my saddle for this one instead because I felt like it looked, I mean, it matches the bridle way better. Then came finding a good saddle pad. Um, I was looking at the green Jorvik Ranger one for a really long time because I kind of wanted the green to match with the boots. Like not a super obvious matching or whatever, but it just felt casual. But I ended up going with this one, actually, because it kind of looks like a, a washed out, you know, sun bleached saddle pad, so I really liked it. Then I just put on this cute little saddle bag with some brown and grain on it um, to match everything else. And then I wanted this little explorer's basket kind of thing. And then I noticed the dark blue on the spyglass. I decided to switch out my pants for these, um, which I thought, like, really brought the whole look together, so I really liked that. Decided to go against using any decorations because I wanted it to feel kind of minimalistic and, you know, like a simple person or whatever. <laughs> like a simple team of uh, rider and horse just going on an adventure, really. I knew I had this preset lined up, um, or this effect lined up, uh, that gives the illusion of a wet ground. And uh, I knew I wanted to use it in New Hillcrest on the concrete or the tarmac because that's what looks the best in my opinion. I mean, like, that's what makes the most sense because it reflects light in a way that cobblestone and grass and stuff doesn't really do. Even if, like, I, of course the ground gets shiny when it's raining, but, I mean, nothing beats, you know, good old concrete. <laughs> so I had already prepared my, my presets earlier in the day. It's just my normal uh, photography setup. You'll see it here in a second. Um, it's my normal photography setup plus the uh, SSR effect that gives the blurry or the rainy effect, sorry. I also ended up adding the adaptive fog to uh, just complement like a hazy rainy day. Um, you'll see me adding that in a second here. 
Then I just, uh, I played around a little bit with my effects uh, and tried to find a look that I was going for. Um, played around with some angles and tried to find uh, some good photos and just, I didn't really know exactly how I wanted my photo to look like. I kind of just knew the vibe that I had, um, but that I was going for. So you just see me tweaking my, my HDR a little bit to try to match a little bit more of a washed out vibe instead of like a super clean and polished look. I really liked how this, like, I really liked all of the pictures that I took to this day, honestly. Um, there were so many that I could have picked and chosen from. Um, obviously, <laughs> I feel like the pink balloons kind of ruined the vibe a little bit, so I tried to uh, not use those, like, tried not to include them as much as possible. But, uh, I mean, hey, the birthday event was fun, right? <laughs> so here's just me taking a whole bunch of pictures. Um, you know which one I ended up choosing, but, uh, if there's any of these photos that you, like, really like or the angles that you really like, then, uh, just leave a comment and I might try to edit uh, a few more. But here you see the one that I ended up going with. I really like this vibe because it had the Fort Maria in the background and it just kind of felt like, you know, leaving the city. So the next step I do when I make my photos is basically I just upload them to OneDrive from my computer where I have like an automatic upload. And then I upload it to OneDrive and I download it on my iPad and then I open it in Procreate. So what I do is basically just crop my image a little bit. Um, I try to avoid any... Like too much distraction. I'm not usually one to work with a lot of background. I like having the the horse and character in main focus. My next step is I edit out the reins. Um, this is something that I always do. I don't like the look of the reins in the game, which I understand is a super hard thing to to tweak. And I hope at some point we'll get like better reins. But uh, you know, at least for now, this is what we're working with. All that I do is basically I just color pick and draw over and I try to blend it out with my brushes as much as possible. Sometimes I also use uh, the smudge tool, but I try to not do it too much because it creates almost a little bit too much of a polished look sometimes because the horse's coats have texture, especially the new Arabians are super hard to, to draw sometimes. So this is basically just what I do. I just paint over, I try to blend everything out, make it look smooth. You see me zooming out a lot, it's because um, at the end of the day, even if it doesn't look perfect up close, and I can, you know, I can obviously see that I've edited the reins because I can see everything as it's happened, and you kind of like, it almost leaves a mark on your eye, but when you zoom out, you can't really notice it, and that's when I know I've, I'm like done, I'm, I've done a good job. So if you were to like pixel search my my photos, you probably notice a lot of uh, like issues and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's just uh, the overall image that you see on Instagram that matters. I was also really bad at um, recording everything that I did. I noticed that afterwards and I was looking at my footage, so I'm so sorry, but at least I did show a little bit of me um, trying to go over the edges of the uh, the raincoats and like everything else, honestly, because the SSR effect kind of, uh, like it kind of makes everything really pixelated. Um, and I do use an effect to combat this in the game, uh, like as a replacement for the anti-aliasing that's built into the game itself. Um, if you haven't watched my, my video on reshade, I can recommend you doing it if you don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, so that effect kind of <laughs> gets a little bit cancelled out because of this effect, because it uses so many, like, edge detections and stuff like that to create the, uh, the rainy illusion, but, um, it's fine. I just go over the edges a little bit in editing and just try to smooth everything out. And here's a little time lapse of me doing everything. You'll see me editing out the rain, smoothing out the coat. And then I added the rain uh, with the stubble brush in Procreate. And then that's me color picking a whole bunch of stuff because I accidentally did it. Um, I hear me adding a bunch of shadows and highlights, which is what I do for all of my photos. Here's the stubble that I was talking about. And then just by adding uh, some motion blur to it, I it kind of got rid of the hair effect. And I also drew in some, some rain splatter on the ground. 
when I'm done with that, I basically just export everything into, or the picture into Lightroom, and which is where I do my final color correcting. I start by adding a preset that I've made, which is my base. As you can see, I also tried out my other presets. I don't really have a lot of presets. I'm bad at saving what I do. But uh, my base here is basically just like my stylized um, features. So a lot of contrast, some shadows, a little bit of definitions and stuff like that. Then I just go into my color grading. I try to find a look that I'm going for. I don't really have a set routine on what I make or like how I, I tweak my photos. But generally, I just end up using a lot of warm colors because the game itself is pretty, um, pretty cold. It has a lot of uh, blues and greens, and it's kind of dark uh, originally. So I just end up using a lot of warmth. I messed around with the settings a little bit, as you can see. Um, and here's me adding a little bit of, like, you can see me add a little bit of color. So here I'm tweaking and bringing down the saturation a little bit in the greens. Um, and then I'm going to be changing the hue in a second here as well. But I basically just play around with the effects and the colors that I knew are the main part of the, uh, the image just to get a look that I'm, that I'm happy with. I don't really have a set plan, like I said, so mainly just a lot of, uh, neutralizing the greens a little bit and then lightening the sky. That's usually like what I do. Then I add a little bit of uh, dehaze on like my opposing edge to the sun or like the light direction, which I think gives a really nice depth to my image. So here you can see me uh, adjusting the uh, hue of the grass and the lighting just to make it look a little bit more, uh, you know, like it's fall and not super smack bang in the middle of summer. I also ended up adding another um, selective edit on the opposing side, as you can see here, just adding a little bit of light, um, some temperature just to simulate kind of like, you know, it's sun shining through clouds, which is basically what's happening here. And as you can see, it looks really hazy already, but I added a little bit of exposure and stuff. So then I just share it to my camera roll and I upload it again to uh, OneDrive. And here's my next step. I go onto my phone, I download the finished image on my phone because I find that usually quality looks a little bit better on my phone. I don't know if that's actually true or maybe just me looking into things, but then I go into my hashtags notes. Um, I just copy that. This is my standard setup for every, every post that I make. And then I'll add some additional relevant hashtags if I feel the need to. I just go into my post. I don't do any editing really in uh, on Instagram itself. Just paste and uh, add the breed specific hashtags if there are one. So this is color me paint, and then I basically just you know type my caption. That's all I do. Um, I'm super happy with the response that I got on this picture. Super grateful. Thank you for all of the support. Um, and as I said, we're almost at 2300 already as I'm recording this, which is super crazy. We're also at 100 subscribers on YouTube, which is kind of nuts because I only posted one video. Well, as I'm recording this, I've just uploaded uh, a second video, but it's not a photography one. So hopefully this one satiates you guys a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna try to upload a little bit, so thank you so much for uh, sticking around. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. Feel free to leave a comment. If you aren't following me already, feel free to check out my Instagram and see if there's something that you like, maybe. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!